it's Deja from CrochetEverAfter.com and I'm going to show you how to half double crochet into the first stitch of your row right now. Okay, now we're going to half double crochet into the first stitch of our first row after our foundation chain. So I've already done one row into my foundation chain and now I'm going to turn my work so I can create the first half double into the next row. Now with half doubles it can get a little tricky if you're designing for yourself I'll show you the way that I like to do it if you're reading a pattern it could tell you two, one of two ways to do this first part of your row and what you're gonna always do no matter what is chain two so if I'm designing I use that chain two as my first half double crochet and that means that when I go to make my very first real half double crochet is I don't work in to the last stitch of my previous row. So this is, I made 10 half double crochets. This is my 10th that I worked into my foundation chain. This chain two is going to be the half double crochet that counts for this 10th stitch. So what I would do is yarn over and I skip this first stitch, I skip this first V because this chain 2 is a part of this stitch and I'm going to insert my hook into the next stitch and create my half double crochet. So what that did was made one here and one here. Now if you're making say a scarf or something where you're not going to put a, an edging on it because usually I would either use this last stitch as where I'm going to seam something or I'm going to put an edging on it so it's not important really how this first stitch looks but if it's important how it looks a designer might have you chain two and then half double crochet into that first stitch so when you do that it's just going to be kind of a bulkier stitch and you're going to kind of get a little bobble each row because at the beginning of each row you're going to have that chain too so it's kind of a lose-lose either way you look at it it's either going to be too narrow or it's going to be too bulky it's kind of what you're making with this um, with your project is how it's going to dictate what you're going to do um, if the designer doesn't state whether you're supposed to work into the first stitch or the second stitch, look at your stitch count. So if they tell you to do nine HDCs across or nine half double crochets and you know you have ten, they're counting that chain two as a stitch. If they tell you to chain two and then do ten half double crochets across, then you know to work into that first stitch. If they don't tell you at all then it can be up to you but I usually like to use that first chain two as that first stitch so when I'm doing my very first stitch of the row it's actually in the second stitch and that is how you're going to half double crochet into you know, the first or second stitch depending on what you're doing and what your pattern calls for